Hey guys, what's up? Oh man, it has been a very um, eventful morning. <laughs> it's not even like 10 o'clock yet and I'm just like, oh, I can't believe I just did this. Why did I do this to myself? I don't even know. Um, this could go either one of two ways. Um, it's either going to be super successful or super shit. And I'm sure <laughs> you trolls on on, uh, on social media, YouTube, would love for it to go to shit. But anyways, um, if you have been following me on my plant journey, you know that I have a love-hate relationship with this Thai constellation. Now, it still has three leaves. However, this one for some reason looks like it's on its way out. And I'm just kind of like, but why? Why? <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. It's... It's been a three-leaf Thai constellation for the longest time since I had repotted. And you guys, an update, there's some juicy roots that are growing right now. So right here, you can see that my soil mixture for this Thai constellation is doing quite well. These are some nice um, soil roots. And uh, yeah, it's it's growing <laughs> so it's establishing its root system and then i'm hoping that it will put off a leaf for me one day <laughs> one day in the near future perhaps but um at this rate i feel like it may not um so yeah this thai constellation that's been with me for quite some time is just you know <laughs> doing its best right now but um anyways i'm getting distracted the reason why this morning was so um, eventful was because last night I was on Facebook and, you know, like during uh, COVID, um, we were all like a part of, you know, some sort of houseplant group and this wonderful human being <laughs> um, posted this picture right here. Um, Sarah had posted that there were Thai constellations at Giant Tiger for only $40. And I was like, what do I do? Do I, do I pick some up? Do I not pick some up? Like, I, I don't know. I was really torn. Um, but like for $40, that's insane. And my thought process was, well, this Thai constellation that I have right over here, um, in the case that it decides to croak and die, at least I'll have a backup. <laughs> and for $40, you just you just can't go wrong, okay? Like you just cannot go wrong. So I did go to Giant Tiger this morning and uh I didn't wait outside, I waited in my car and I picked up these two Thai constellations right here. How cute are they? They are perfect. Like perfect. As you would expect from a tissue culture, right? And I think all Thai constellations are grown from tissue cultures um, because they're not really actually found in the wild. Pretty sure I read that somewhere. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, I picked up two and they are beautiful. Um, I didn't pick two because I wanted to resell. I picked up two because one is for my friend. So this one is actually for me. I am keeping this one. Um, I don't know why I do this myself, but you guys know I love like a good variegated, variegated plant. So it's had some nice variegation and I only picked up the Thai constellation, Thai constellations that were putting off new leaves. So look at this. Look at this bad boy right here. I see some fenestrations. Um, <laughs> I think with like all the wiggling and the transportation that it's been through so far, um, it's starting to kind of like wake up a little bit and it started to unfurl. So it's just... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why I do this to myself. I mean, like I said, it could it could be really good or really bad. We will see. Um, <laughs> but this one right here is for my friend. This is actually a much bigger plant com in comparison to what I have. And the variegation on this is quite even. And uh, I did pick this one up because, <sighs> look at this. Look at this juicy, juicy leaf that is, you know, about to emerge. It has fenestrations. It is nice and variegated, like evenly variegated. And I had initially wanted to give her this plant. I'm gonna throw up a video. Um, this plant had like, I would say, 
75 to 80% variegation and I was like, oh, she would love that. But then I was like, eh, but if she's, <laughs> no shade, no shade girl. But um, I just didn't want to give her a plant that was too variegated because I didn't want her to be disappointed in the case that it started to brown. Because as we know, um, plants that are variegated, if they don't get enough nutrients or if they're too close to the sun, or in this case, our, our lights, um, it, it could be very finicky and um, just start to brown. And you, who wants to look at a really brown plant? Nobody does. Uh, so yeah, so I opted to give her this one. And I don't know. You know, it kind of brought me back to the days where <laughs> during COVID, I would actually drive, uh, I would say like, an hour and a half to two hours to pick up some rare plants and um yeah it kind of like gave me a surge of serotonin and like dopamine and i'm just like oh <sighs> yeah so just wanted to film this video and let you guys know that um check your your local giant tiger if you live in um in canada uh also Canadian Tire too. I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of posts where these were available at Canadian Tire for roughly around the same price. And um, yeah, now I have a backup Thai Constellation in the case that it decides to fail. Um, but I don't think it will. I think it'll be just fine because these were just hanging out, um, just hanging out in the aisle. Like there was nothing, there was no special grow light, nothing. Um, regular room temperature, regular humidity, there was really nothing going on. We are moving into uh, cooler months, so I mean, this plant has been pretty pretty acclimated in my opinion. Um, it is currently being grown in peat moss, so I will probably repot this next year, but not right now, because it is putting off a new leaf, and I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I tend to not repot anything unless I really want to like destroy the plant um, when it's putting off a new leaf so I'm gonna probably wait till next year um, probably in the summer just to see how it's doing of course I'm gonna you know pop this out to see if there's any oh wow it's actually pretty like the roots are kind of popping out over here uh oh I don't know if you can see is it there we go so it's kind of poking out here um we'll see i i do really want to wait to repot this but i mean if it's a super healthy thriving plant then maybe it'll have to be sooner but at least i know that this high constellation will not be as finicky as the bigger one um the imported one um yeah but anyways <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and stare at my plants so i will see you guys in the next video bye